Okay, we're listening to a DX station right now. And that's not the DX station. So this DX station is Delta 60 Alpha Echo. Let's wait just a moment for him to call CQ again. So he just uh, called somebody and gave him a 599, which is cool. So if you noticed, and maybe you haven't noticed, but he said thank you, and then he sent his call sign Delta 60 Alpha Echo, and then he went UP. There were two letters at the end of his call sign called UP. What that means is that he is working up the frequency. So right now we're listening to this person on 14001.96, so pretty much 14001.2 probably, right? That's I just tuned him in to a tone that I really like to listen to. So he just sent his call sign with a UP. So what that means, he is working up. And if you look at the DX cluster, which I will maybe do a video on what the DX cluster is and what this means, but if you look at some of these spots, you'll see that this person spotted Delta 60 Alpha Echo on 14.002, and then he said QSX 14.003.9. That means that is the frequency that this person right here transmitted on to be able to get to this person. So this DX station, so this is a, a DX expedition, and it's a, uh, you know, somewhat of a rare country. And people are trying to get this, con this person to contact so they can add this to their country's list, which is pretty cool. I did also. So in order to alleviate the chaos on the frequency this person is on right now, he will, he will say the word up, which means that this person is going to be listening a couple of kilohertz up. And how you can do that, at least on the FTDX 101 MP, you can press this split button. If you press and hold it, you can put in two kilohertz. And all of a sudden, it magically takes the frequency you're on and it turns this other frequency on the right hand side which is your your basically sub VFO and adds 2 kilohertz to it so now what you're going to do is when you transmit you're going to be transmitting on 14003.965 and listening on 14001.965 so that's how they do it and in order to alleviate a lot of chaos because if he was just transmitting on this frequency and listening on this frequency, people would be sending their um, their call signs over and over and over. And when the DX station comes to respond, you might not hear him because other people are generating QRM on the frequency, just sending their call sign and over and over and just acting like a fool. So what they wind up doing is they want everybody to be calling on a frequency a little bit higher and then what this DX station does is it tunes around about around this frequency if he is calling 2k up um, he might be calling one up there is another DX station called um, TY0RU uh, this is a FT81 but um, if I don't know if I have it up here any longer but I think they were calling up five. Yeah, I don't think I have it up here anymore. No, but you can you can see that people also use this QSX, which means that there's going to be a split frequency transmit happening with this station. So what you will hear is when you're listening to this DX station, another thing that gives you an indication
is sometimes you'll hear somebody call him on this frequency on this frequency so you'll hear somebody call him on this frequency look at all these people here hang on whoops all right so this is all the people calling this person let's get the span a little bit better let's do something like this now let's go let's do that so that's the the x station and these are the people that are responding to him so that's the person responding to him he's calling up and then look at all look at all of these folks trying to contact this person but it's kind of nice because we don't hear all of these people and we can just hear the dx station simply uh, send out the call sign and do the signal reports so let's listen to this again so it looks like that person's coming back in. So he says, thank you, up. And then all of these people try to contact him. And then there's that person right there. And they, oops. Wow, look at all of these people. And on the 101 MP, you can use this outer ring to change your transmit frequency. And the actual VFO knob to change the frequency that you're listening on. This person's fading out a little bit. Let's see if I can get the amp on. That might be the person that he's responding. Look at all these people responding. So he's going to be listening to these frequencies. And all you have to do is just listen to that frequency. And that's how split operation works. The UP. So what you'll hear sometimes is uh, people will call the DX station on their frequency and people that are listening will say, oh man, this person probably doesn't realize that they are working the station up in, up in kilohertz. So you will hear other people send the letter UP to indicate to that person, hey, you, you, need, to, you need to go up in frequency. Usually one to two kilohertz. Sometimes I've seen it as much as five kilohertz. So I hope that helps with uh, split operations and working DX. There's a lot of DX stuff, uh, a lot of rare DX, D expeditions, and other things that are going on, at least this weekend on October 15th and 16th. We've got Tango Yankee Zero Romeo Uniform. That's uh, Benin. Uh, there is also, let me see, uh, uh, Delta Six Zero Alpha Echo, which is uh, Comoros. And uh, there was also another one. There's like a Tango... I can't remember what it was, but there's a there's a bunch of stuff on, and they're all working split. So there you go. Have fun DXing.